Welcome to our channel. If you are looking for review materials for the licensure examination for teachers, watch this video to gain extra stock knowledge. If you have not subscribed yet, just click the subscribe button below. This video features professional education question about philosophy of education and social dimensions, part 2. Let's get started. Number 1. Mr. David exemplifies an ideal teacher and son. He is competent in his field based on the various recognitions that he received from his school. As a dutiful son, he assumes all the responsibilities of raising his family, this includes his parents, siblings, and their own families, giving all their needs and wants. The fulfillment of these is the neglect of the responsibilities to himself. This attitude of Mr. David is against what kind of philosophy? A. Existentialism. B. Constructivism. C. Pragmatism. D. Humanism. It is humanism. Humanism stresses personal culture, individual freedom, and development, the best way towards full and rich lives. Number 2. Teacher Ronnie ensures to put a certain amount of his monthly earnings in the bank. At the end of the school year, he used all his savings in visiting places rich of cultural heritages rather than of buying expensive clothes, jewelry, and latest gadgets. Favoring the former action over the latter exhibits that teacher Ronnie follows what kind of philosophy? A. Existentialism B. Essentialism C. Behaviorism D. Progressivism Existentialism Existentialism is a philosophy that gives a person the freedom to choose. It is a philosophy of subjectivity. Number 3. Teacher Lucy rates the artwork of her students not just on the merit of its appeal to the senses but also considers its uniqueness and the responsibility that every student has given in accomplishing the task. This practice shows how teacher Lucy upholds what kind of philosophy. A. Realism. B. Reconstructivism. C. Idealism. D. Existentialism. Existentialism. Existentialism conceives philosophy as something that is felt by an individual because it is concrete in itself or based on what is concrete. There is also personal involvement in this kind of philosophy. 4. In line with the philosophy of reconstructivism, which of the following should be given emphasis in teaching? A. To seek a better position in the society. B. To compare oneself with the less fortunate. C. To become economically self-reliant. D. To designate one's superiority over the others. To become economically self-reliant. Reconstructivism aims to achieve social changes. This is a philosophy that entails the identification of social problems, finding solutions for this and be a part of the solution. 5. Joining organizations or clubs in school is requisite to granting of academic distinction under DECS Order No. 65, 1998. Activities planned by school clubs or organizations show school community connection reflected in activities geared towards society's needs. What philosophy is related to this? A. Realism. B. Progressivism. C. Existentialism. D. Reconstructivism. Reconstructivism. 
increase of time allotment in English, Math and Science in the elementary level under the new elementary school curriculum or NESC as provided in DECS Order No. 1 1993 contributes in the culturation of basic literacy by providing the needed essential skills. The related philosophy is a. Realism b. Essentialism c. Idealism d. Perennialism Essentialism. 7. The curriculum is viewed as a means of developing desirable habits. It is recommended that the means to form these habits is through the mastery of organized subject matter. Which philosophy is behind this educational view? A. Naturalism. B. Idealism. C. Realism. D. Pragmatism. It should be realism. Realism, his educative process is viewed mainly as the transmission of information and knowledge. The curriculum has the function of forming the body and this interrelationship gives rise to the dictum sound mind in a sound body. 8. Teachers in school perform the role and responsibility of parents in the development and education of a child. This stems from the belief that the home is the primary agency in the education of the individual. Thus, teachers are regarded as surrogate parents along the loco parentis principle. Which philosophy espouses this view of education? A. Pragmatism. B. Naturalism. C. Idealism. D. Realism. It is naturalism. With naturalism, the school is seen as the extension of home and teachers are deemed, surrogate parents. 9. This philosophy believes that students need a passionate encounter with the positive and negative phases of life like the joy and agony of love, desirability of life, the inevitability of death, the anguish of freedom and the consequences of choices and actions. Which philosophy advocates this view in education? A. Existentialism B. Perennialism C. Essentialism D. Realism It should be existentialism. It is a modern school of thought that grew out of the thoughts of European philosophers particularly from Soren Kierkegaard, who believes that the central problem humanity is facing is the ability to cope with its existence. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, just click the subscribe button below to catch up for our next video. You can see description for the link of other videos like this.